I'm back in black. So I want to talk about a little story, I guess, right? A little experience I had the other day. Um, so I was, I was going, me and my wife went for a jog, went for a jog first thing in the morning and, uh, there's a little pond around our area. So I decided to go jogging around that. So this pond goes, how we get there is going to go out the driveway and go down this road. And there's like a you know sidewalk uh, on uh, by this road. So you got to follow that. And then it kind of dips down and go around. Or you can either go straight down to another street and then take a left and just follow the sidewalk around. And then it dips down uh, with a paved uh, pathway goes around the pond and goes up or incline a little hilly area uh, and then back to the to the to the sidewalk right so we we ran around that one time two times right uh, my wife ran up stopping because my wife she's you know she's like a workout freak sometimes and or she has been and known to injure herself because she likes to go hard and then so right now she's coming back off she hasn't been running for a while because of uh, the issues with her feet right so she wanted to keep going oh that's so got so excited like, you know, she got all energized and she's like oh let's let's do two more laps and i'm like hold on there I mean, hold on let's call it quits for today and uh, you know, get some stretches in, then we kind of just go home, and then because you know it's kind of slowly build up back to where you were. So she agreed. We did some stretches, and then we went home. And um, so me now, I'm I'm a little bit, you know, a little different because I don't really haven't been as injury prone as she has been. So I decided to go back and decide, and you know, I'm I'm. My job has been physically demanding, working up on ladders, carrying heavy uh, materials back and forth, um, working in cramped spaces and so forth. So uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't been running uh, this year as much. I think I went two times already this year. And it was like a month, last month. And the previously, I... I ran last year i think it was was the last time i ran before uh, a couple times last month so so i went back out there right and you know, remember it was it was a bit windy at first when we me and my wife was out there but this time you know i was out there and i'm running and i'm running and i'm you know thinking about going the opposite way uh that we we did the first time so but as i got close to the path i'm like ah now i'm gonna go the same way so i just kept running just kept going a little light jogging feel nice and loose and all that and then i made a left turn on the on the other street to come up uh, on the other side of the of the pond and the wind just hit me you know and i'm like man it was strong and it pushed me off a little bit so I, you know, I have to, I have to dig in, right? I got to uh, get my foundation strong, you know, and my, my swings had to be with just a more, a more determined, right? My focus was, my eyes were more open, right? It was just a different determination, you know? So I did that, got through it and I made a left turn down to the pond pathway to the pond and then we're kind of shielded from that wind a bit right so went down there and i gotta go up this incline again and that is like the same kind of feel as if or similar not the same just similar when when i was running against the wind because now i, I still have to uh you know the difference between running on a, on a flat level uh versus on an incline right it's it's just different right you gotta you have to put more effort in you got to put more uh a strength in your legs you know you got to push off a bit more right so that was the kind of 
that was the kind of energy I was running with, right? So, and I, I, I was, did it a few times and I'm like, man, you know, there's this, this, this pushing against this wind. It was like, man, it's like, it's like the obstacles, right? Like in, in life, you know, because, and I'm like, you know, it's almost like when I was going against schizophrenia, right? I can almost liken that to this wind, which is like this, it's like this resistance that's pushing me from where I want to go. And I'm like, yeah, you know, and so I'm just thinking just how similarities were and just how I had to, like the difference in how you're just coasting through life. You just, you know, that the path is just flat, you know, and you can just go nice and easy. You know, you can just be so loose and just everything is all right. But then when you hit this, this hard part, you know, that this, this resistance, that's the key word here. You know, this resistance because it changes how you uh, continue forward. You can't go in the same mentality, right? You have to, or I had to uh, change just, you know, where once I'm coming down and I'm just kind of loose and I'm just nice and easy and it sometimes could be sloppy in my form. But once I hit that resistance, it changed. If I wanted to go through it, I had to be more intentional in my in my strides, more intentional in how I swung my arms, you know, and just my eyes had to be just open and my mind would be focused on where I wanted to go. And I just I learned I just kind of embraced it. And it was so much different than if I was more resistant to it, right? Because if I was like had a negative mindset because it was so windy out, I would just call it quits. I'd have done one lap and say, you know what, forget this, there's a lot, too much wind, I'm gonna go home, but I just embraced it, man, because I realized this is gonna make me stronger, you know, just gonna help me reach my goal a lot uh, a more, you know, with, with uh, a bit quicker, right? Just give me, build me up a bit more. So I, um, so yeah, and, and it was just really uh, an interesting experience and then, going up the incline, it was like the same thing. I, everything had to change about, you know, how I, how I approached it. Once I got through forcing my way through, uh, through the wind and I go, it was like an easier run down and then another flat level run. So I could, uh, you know, when you're tired and then you can just become sloppy and just kind of, you know, it's just, it's just not the same. But then I hit this part again. It's like, man, I couldn't get through it with the same, with the same, in the same form, the same way, the same kind of just, you know, looseness. I had to tighten up, you know, I had to tighten up and I had to be intentional about everything. My strides, my, how I pushed, how I engaged my glutes and my, 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 my quads and my, you know, my whole lower body and just my, my abs and how I leaned. And it was just the dynamics just changed simply because there's some resistance there. So I had to focus in a way that I never had to focus uh, when it wasn't there, you know. So it was just really interesting experience, and I, I just likened it to the same, uh, the similar obstacles, man, that we just go through uh, within our lives. And like I said, against uh, schizophrenia, because these are just res our resistance, uh, opposition, things that push us uh, in the opposite direction that we want to go in. You know, but we don't have to just be limp and flow along with it. You know, we can just pull ourselves together and, you know, stand and move forward in just an, a, an intentional, uh, determined, focused way. And we can forge our, our way ahead. You know, um, there's also there's another uh, uh Little story. I went. I went uh, a couple years ago. I did a 10k run, right? It's my first 10k run, right? I I lost 100 pounds, right? So, um, and I did a lot of it was through jogging, right? So, um, so we we my wife we went to. This was my wife at the time, but. She wanted me to go with her, right? 
uh, and uh, the Lululemon run. I wouldn't have done Lululemon run, but <laughs> in my own in my own name, right? So, yeah, so, so it it took her. You know, she's wears Lululemon and stuff, so she's the one that brought me on to this. So, so we went there, and uh, her and I and some friends, and it was it was all right. Um, I didn't run 10K before, uh, before we, you know, she gave me the idea to go to this. Um, I, I started or shortly after we signed up for it, I started to practice running 10K, right? Um, or at least I never measured 10K that I ran before. So I started practice for it and I ran around the neighborhood and I, started carrying my phone with me and tracking how much I ran. And I got this little, this little, uh, route that I usually ran, usually run. So, um, I did it, made it a little bit longer and it was pretty much some seven point something to eight, close to eight K, uh, eight kilometers. So, so I said, all right, well, you know, I did it enough so that I could do it. I was pretty good afterwards I felt okay well if I do 8k now and the race is 10k yeah I could do two more k the way I'm feeling right so I didn't bother push to get 10k on the clock right so uh so we went there and a lot of people there man a lot of people I was like wow you know <laughs> it was more people than I thought would be there so you know, looked around, I'm trying to size up the competition. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to size up everybody. I'm like, oh, yeah, looks good, looks good, you know. It's going to be a, a race on, on our hands here. So, um, you know, so anyways, it's just something about being in a, in a place with a lot of people with the same intention you know, the same goal, everyone's there for the same reason, man. There's a energy there, right? So when it's ready, we got ready to go to, to go to work. So, you know, they, 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 this, everything started, right? And different uh, groups kept going off. So my group come and we went off. And they we're going, we're running, man. I'm just running and doing my thing and you know make checking everything right my strides and trying to pace myself and whatever it is you know just do what you got to do to kind of keep going and keep up and so I'm going I'm going for a while man it was like it was pretty tiring I'm just like man I've been running for a while and I'm pretty I'm pretty tired I'm thinking about I'm thinking about me running around the neighborhood here and how how the 8k felt at that time you know and i'm like yeah i'm feeling about 8k tired so i'm like yeah, yeah I'm, I'm i'm pretty close i think we're pretty close to 8k at least you know so i should be almost at the finish line right and i'm running and running i'm just like just tired you know i'm just gonna push through man so next thing i know coming up to a sign it says 4k i was like what Oh, it means we got 4K to go. I thought we got two. It was like, man, that sucks. I think I, I probably, you know, went out a little bit too fast because 4K, man, I thought we had two. It's a little bit, two more than I thought. But, you know, I, I can do this. I can do this, right? So anyways, I'm going. I'm thinking it sure doesn't mean we just ran 4K. Couldn't be. We got It's got to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about 8K tired. So if I got, it's probably about six I ran. So we probably got this 4K to go. That sounds about right. Yeah. So I'm running. I'm running. I'm tired, man. I'm going to get there. So we looked another sign. I looked up. Another sign comes. 6K. Oh, my gosh. 6K. I damn near dropped my hands and said, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk the rest of the way, because 
I thought, you know, it was actually 4K that I've done back then. And I was pretty much ready to, to finish. And I ran another 2K thinking that we got four left. And now I turn out, turns out I, I just ran two more. And, I, and now I have four more. I was done. I was done. So I'm just ready to just, just drop it, man. Got people dropping in, people walking. I'm just like ready to give it, give up, man. But as soon as I was, I, the thought came to my mind and just, and I'm ready to just stop. I just kicked it off, man. I just shook that off. I said, forget that, man. I'm here to run 10K. So, you know, the thing about, like I said, being in that place with a lot of people in the same, you know, mindset and that energy is, you know, I got caught up in everybody else's pace. I wasn't in my own pace, you know, and I didn't realize that. I thought I was, my pace is good. No, it wasn't good. I was, I was keeping up with these guys, you know, but it's just that competitive mindset where you just, you just, you know, and me being inexperienced, it's my first time in that such a setting. So, um, but anyway, man, I just kicked that off. That thought talking about walking, mm -mm, not me. So kept running, man. I'm just, <sighs> just dying, man. Just dying, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. You know, I'm just pushing. So we're coming up, man. We're coming up, and we're, you know, going up steep inclines, man. And coming down, and I'm just dying, and I'm like, all right, uh, you know, we're going, and going. And then the finish lines up ahead, man. So like, I'm just. I'm just dying. And look, next thing I know, this guy pulls up next to me. You know, I'm just running. He's going to finish line too, but he's coming up, right? I look at him. He looks at me. We look at the finish line. I look at him. He looks at me. We look at the finish line. We looked at each other again, and we just, we just bolted. We just took off man and i was dead i'm just like i ain't letting this guy beat me i don't know what came over me or him you know but we just like uh uh bro. <laughs> we both we're thinking the same thing we're gonna <laughs> so anyways and i was dying i'm thinking man just 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 stop <laughs> i'm thinking just stop because i was dead but you know what I said, nah, man. And I just started screaming. I'm just like, ah, just screaming because I needed to get some energy. And that's just how I know how to get it, just to let go. I didn't care who was watching. I don't care who was around. I don't care what cameras were catching. I didn't care. All I know is I ain't going to let this guy be. <laughs> All I know is I ain't going to stop. And I think we I think we crossed the line around the same time, man. I got there and people were just hogging me and high fiving me and be like, yo, that was awesome, man. <laughs> I was just I didn't even know where I was. I was just I just needed some water, man. I just need to catch my breath. But it was just, you know, it just shows sometimes you think you don't have what it takes. Sometimes you think you've given all you've got. Sometimes you think you're empty, you're done, you're ready to give up. You know, life has piled more on you that you can take. But sometimes, you know, when you just have an attitude that says, I will not die. I will not give up. I will not faint. You know, because a lot of times, man, and they're all every time you have more in the tank than you think you do. You have more. It's just having the, the 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 mindset that you're going to go through you're going to go forward man you're going to so it's, it's not really just a talk to telling you not to not to not to walk when you're tired it's more to the story than that you know but it's just it's just the fact that you know I thought I had at 4k I was done pretty much done I was tired and I'm going to struggle two more K I thought because I thought I was at 8K and then turns out when I reached 6K, I was sure I was done. I was ready to throw my hands down. 
stop swinging them. Just walk. And something just hit me. Do not shake it off. And I shook it off and I kept going. And imagine that I was done, done, done at 6K. Right? And I bought 100 meters from the finish line. I sprinted. Thought I was done. And yet I had enough energy, enough will, enough enough fire to burn to the finish line. You know, it just goes to show, man, you just, you're stronger than you think. You know, you're stronger than you think. And the reason why a lot of times we have these resistance in life, you know, whether it's schizophrenia, whether it's depression, anxiety, any of these illnesses, man, that comes on you, you don't have to break for it. You don't have to allow it to trample you over you, to push you back, to get you to drop your hands. If they try to beat you and to push you and to, you know what I mean, make you make you weary, make you tired, make you just want to throw in the towel and give up, but you don't have to. You're stronger than you think. You have more in you than you think, more fight. You just have to recognize it. You just have to have an attitude, a mindset that is unwilling to settle, unwilling to surrender, unwilling to yield. And I guarantee you, if you don't back down, something's got to back down. If you don't give, it will have to give. You understand? You can get your way. You can get through this. You just have to be willing to fight, to persevere to be determined. And that's when I was coming through that win or going up that incline, right? Everything changed as opposed to when I was running on level surface. My determination changed. Even when I was tired, I was planning to go 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I was tired, right? And now it's coming around and they got to face the wind. And then I got to go up the incline avenue. I said, I run twice this year. And before that was uh, last summer. And yet... I not only did half an hour, I also, the last lap, instead of just coming up on the pond and going home, uh, which was, you know, there's this tug of war in my mind and what I should do, but I came around the pond, went down the road and went all the way around the block and come back up all the way, you know what I mean? So I went just a longer route just to shake off this uh, my mentality that keeps telling me to give up. You know, uh, so it's, it's, it's just, and when I done it, I was like, man, and I've been telling myself to quit since like 15 minutes <laughs> to go home, you know, but I knew I was in better shape just be, from being at work, but it's just, I haven't been running like that, but it's just, it's just having that mindset, that determination and that focus. It's just, you know, when you, when you settle in your heart, that you're are you're going to go forward when you accept that the struggle in front of you is what it is. This is my struggle. You understand? When you accept that this is here, and that you're going to fight, you're going to push back. Once you get that settled here, it changes the landscape, man. It changes everything. You understand? That's the first battle. Once you get through that, it's like this doorway you enter through and then you see this world. It's like all the things that you're struggling against that you really want to overcome, you start to see them clearly for the first time because the mist leaves because now your intention is clear. Before you're in fog, man, you don't know what you're doing. You're just going along with everything. You're just getting pushed this way, pushed that way. You're just getting beaten and tossed around. But once you settle in and you're engaged and your eyes are open, the mist clears and you begin to see what you're up against because your intention is clear, is to go beyond them. So you grab your shield and you grab your sword because you're ready, right? And your enemies will stand up. They're ready. They're ready to meet you 
and you go and you meet them, a sword and a shield, these aren't literal, obviously, but, you know, but this is how, this is when things really start. And you see for the first time, it's a different world through that door. Through the doorway, once you get there, everything starts and everything changes. Your life changes because you start to move forward. You start to get out of isolation with intention, with meaning. You understand, regardless of what voices in your head and what they're telling you, depression, you start to meet that with something opposite. You understand? And you are intent because in your mind, you know where you're going. And there's nothing greater to get you on the other side than knowing where you're going because now you can walk with a purpose. And when you walk with a purpose, you have power. You have strength. You understand? And so you can... You can push back against whatever it is that's pushing against you. And something has to give. And if you are unwilling to give up, then I guarantee you what is pushing against you will have to break. It'll have to. That's a guaranteed. You know, you just have to be willing to fight for it, man. And I just, the same way I, I, I went through all those and, did that 10K as well, <laughs> you know, it's just, you. a lot of times we just think we can't. A lot of uh, words that I hear people saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, if you tell yourself that, then you might as well just, you're done, you know, you, you, you just, you, you surrender. And if you surrender, well, your enemy, you know, you think about this, you're going to war, you're going to battle. And the battle is tough. It's raging. And you just toss your hands up in the air and say, I, I, I can't do this. What's going to happen? You're going to get clobbered. You're going to get taken captive. If anything, if you're still, you know, if you survive it. And that's where a lot of us are living. Just in captivity to anger or to depression, to, to paranoia, to delusions, to all the symptoms of schizophrenia or all, all, all our illnesses. Because we just toss our hands in the air. We can't do it. But you can do it. You have what it takes. You just have to believe in yourself and to recognize that you're very much capable. So that's what I wanted to put forth today and uh, hopefully it reaches somebody. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy, man. It's not easy to, to recognize this stuff. And it's it's... Especially when you're coming from a place of this is it for me. This is all I can do. This is all I can be. And this is what you've been fed. And this is what you've eaten and you've digested. And it's a hard thing to eat something else uh, that's contrary. It's not the same flavor. You know, but nutrition is nutrition, right? If it's good for you, if, it, if, it's, if it's good for you, it's good for you. You know, regardless of how it tastes, sometimes, you know, it's like the best medicines are always bitter. <laughs> it, never it never tastes sweet. You know, it's never the way you want it to taste, but um, that's just how it is. Anyway, until next time.